Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. That's right. So, Yahusha is our example of how to operate in this truth, man. Okay? He came as a servant. Mark 9 and 33. Okay? It says, um, and he came to Cap Capernaum and began, and being in the house, he asked them, What was it that ye disputed among yourselves by the way? But they held their peace, for by the way they they had disputed among themselves who should be the greatest. Talking about the disciples. Tying in what we read before in um, Matthew uh, 18. Alright. Verse 35. And he sat down and called, tw called the twelve. And he said unto them, If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all and servant of all. Okay. Alright. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them. And when he had taken him in his arms, he said unto them, Whoso shall receive one of such children in my name, receive me. Going back to the disciples. Okay, he was using it as a similar to, to convey uh, the message that you have to come as a child, man. Children are humble. Children are um, trustworthy. And they, children have they display great um great amount of faith in those that whom they trust okay all right so whosoever shall receive one of these one of such children in my name receive me and whosoever shall receive me receive not me but him that sent me and they told you in matthews 18 that anybody that received a little child in my name received me and he told you that it's not him that you receive and you receive an heavenly father okay all right that's right so let's go to luke it's almost over luke 17 7. it says but which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say unto him by and by when he has come from the field, go and sit down to meet. Okay. That's right. Like that, we out there, we, we plowing and we doing the work. That would be odd if, if you had a servant and he came in. He'd been out there working, doing what he's supposed to do. And then you, you ask the master, the one that got power over him, tell him to just, oh, sit down, I'll serve you. It don't work like that. It says, and will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken. And afterwards thou shalt eat and drink. Because that's the order. Whoever is running it, okay, whoever is the head, they eat first. Then the, those that's of his, you know, the servants unto him, they eat after him. Great example is lions. The male lion always eat first. Then whatever's left over after he eat then the, the lioness and the cubs or the whips lion whips can eat okay that's the order okay verse 9 do if he think that servant because he did the things that were commanded him I told not meaning what we the things that the Lord command us to do and teach alright just because we do them all right, which we're supposed to do it anyway, but because we do it, it doesn't mean we get a the pat on the back and a thank you and stuff. Okay, it says, do if he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him. I told not. So likewise, ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. That's right. So whatever the Lord gave us to do, mainly to to keep the commandments, which is rehearsing the righteous acts, doing the good works, and teaching the truth. All right. When you receive your reward, you don't get praise for that. Okay. All right. You just say we are unprofitable servants. That's the attitude of those that's of the great men. That's going to be partaking and sharing or being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai in the kingdom. Okay, because only one person is worthy of obtaining the kingdom, 
and that was your shot. Okay. So really ain't nothing we we can boast and brag about, you know. Alright. So Matthews ten and twenty four. It says The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. That's right, it says it is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and, a, and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? That's right, so it says the disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. Okay, it is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and, and the servant as his Lord. Because the scriptures say we are being conformed to the image of Yahusha to be uh, uh, first fruits um, uh, of the. Uh, let me get it real quick. I don't want to. So like, I don't want to uh, misquote it. All right. Romans chapter 8 verse 29 says for whom he did for new he also did predestinated to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren that's right being in joint heirs with Yahusha so that's why the scriptures say that that it is enough that the the disciple be as his master and the servant as his Lord. Okay. Because that's who we're being conforming to. Alright. And the Lord was a servant. Okay. That's what made him great. Okay. Matthew 23 and 11. It says, But he that is greatest among you uh, shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt of himself shall be a base. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted that's right so all these clowns that you see out here that's teaching supposedly teaching claiming that the Israelites that constantly be exalting themselves I right, like Zabak like Nathaniel 7 like General Yohanna like um who else? Ricard the Gathering Christ Church alright and other clowns out there Batak um fucking help me out Polite and the rest of these clowns out here that's coming up against the truth. Bakwash of the 14th Street Israelites. Okay. And the rest of you clowns that's with we got next and fold fold hole. Whatever that shit is called. Okay. You niggas that exalt yourself, put your name in the title and stuff. Scripture told you it said Matthew twenty three and eleven. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And Whosoever shall exalt himself shall be a base. So you niggas gonna be a base, man. The Lord's gonna base you in front of all, all right, for your 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 proud your pride, man. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. That's right. Okay, Luke twenty two twenty four. Luke 22, 24, it says, And there was also a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. Okay. Alright. They reap, they reap the, uh, the goodies from the nations, man, through oppression. Alright. Verse 26, it says, But ye shall not be so but he that is greatest among you let him be as the younger and he that is chief as he that do do of serve that's right for whether whether it's greater he that sitteth at meat or he that serveth is not he that sitteth at meat but i am among you as he that serveth okay that's right so even though Yahusha was the greatest, and is the greatest, all right, and he was king of Israel, he still served, okay, 
And he left it as an example for us.